guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zillia Blind with your host Damiel SC. Last time we got almost to we, we got through the village of the spirits, or I, I, I forget its actual name, but basically uh, Millie's home village that she never actually interacted with, and she seems super awkward walking through there. And between episodes, I found the treasure on the previous screen, and then here's this one: mysterious jewel. Oh, I've got two of those. Come on, man. You gotta have different treasures. The last one was cool. The last one was a pair of glasses. You can tell where my priorities are. I mean, here's like some freaking, you know, um, jewels that I found. I'm like, but I've already got jewels. Give me some more glasses. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know. Hey, man. Let me go ahead and buy two more of these. Because I ended up actually using them last time. All right, let's press on. Millia's Shrine. You, you gotta walk slow here. You have to be reverent. You have to appre- Why do they do this where they have a save point at the exit and another one immediately when you enter? I don't get it. But you know what? Who knows? There may be a boss here. I, I should probably go ahead and save. Because you never know what you may- You never know what you're gonna get. Wise man said that. His name was Tom Hanks. <laughs> In here. I'm gonna say it's a little bit interesting. We're on episode like eight or something, and we've only got three party members. I think this is the longest we've gone in Tales game with this few party. I don't know actually. Zesteria, you were just um, Lila, Miklio, and Saray for quite a while. I just feel like I gain a bigger party a lot faster in other games. Is this your house? Cause like we got we got Aurin in Symphonia very very quickly, um, and then Jade and Guy showed up fairly quickly at Abyss. My house? I've never really thought about it like that, but I suppose so. Boy, you're really in the sticks. What do you do for fun out here? Uh, create worlds. My mission is not to entertain myself. I do spend time reading books written by humans. If you must know. Sounds. Fun. <laughs> Let's perform the ceremony. I can already tell you, either the four will not come back, or they will come back, but they won't be bound to her anymore. So and they'll... is this okay? Perfect. Thank you. I have a feeling they won't come back. That's my guess. I wonder why she needs the rocks. What do they really do? They just seem symbolic more than anything. Mila! Lady Mila! Who the hell was that? Oh, is that you, Ivor? Lady Mila, I was worried sick. So I guess we don't have to go rescue Ivor. This looks like the right of the Four's advent. Why would you perform such a ritual? Yeah, where what where was he? Wait, what's going on here? Efreet, where are you? Undine, come out! They're dead. Lady Mila. Actually, what I bet they're imprisoned, happened? not actually dead. I cannot believe it. <laughs> so who sits like why that? Do you think you can't summon the spirits. Are they dead or something? I don't think spirits can truly die. A great spirit cannot die. Hey, I'm right. Was I supposed to know that? Just like a lesser spirit, a great spirit becomes a fossil when it passes away. Yet its power transfers into the next great spirit. At least that's what they say. Nobody's ever seen it happen. Oh. So uh, if they're imprisoned and their power is being used f to fuel that machine, are undying beings that dwell in the spirit world. It's beyond your understanding. Everyone's so pompous to me, even though I'm like well, Mila's best friend. That device captured the four great spirits instead of killing them. Impossible! Mere humans could never capture the great four. But the four great spirits aren't answering their lord's summons. <laughs> yes, well. To eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. If you leave an egg in a box, then somehow that egg should get crushed. The cause must 
lie within the egg itself. That's an interesting How's egg principle. You really are an honor student. <laughs> a Spyrex advanced enough to capture even the What is a Spyrex? You never actually define that. When that happened, I then lost my power as Maxwell. Mila Now you will all leave. This is holy ground, and you'll desecrate it no more. I'm the only one ordained to serve Lady Mila. <laughs> wow. Ivor, please leave as well. You can go home. Huh? Let me see. How should I put this? You're annoying. Oh. <laughs> oh. I I'm glad. I, I don't feel like um, Ivor is going to be a party member. I don't... He kind of looks like one of the people that I saw at the beginning of the game, but not really. Because there is one that's very, very stern and has white hair, but he's got more of a ponytail. I mean... I, I can't really see behind Ivor that well. I'm, I'm actually trying to leave on the scene because he turns slightly. It looks like he's got a little bit of a ponytail, but not that long. Th this guy had one, like, down to the small of his back. And he just seemed much more stoic and much more... Not <laughs> insane. <laughs> For the love of Maxwell, I knew I should have never left her side. I guess he does have a pretty long ponytail. I wonder what their relationship is. I, I very distinctly feel like they're not the same person. The like stoic guy from the intro, and then this guy. Mila wasn't kidding about his short fuse. Hey, are you even listening to me? Uh, yeah. I mean, huh? <laughs> Look, you've been dismissed by Mila. Why do you expect me to pay attention to you? Huh. Heed my words. Henceforth, only I shall serve the Lady Mila. Interfere at your peril. Dude, I, I don't know who this guy thinks he is. I do, I do, I, I know I said this before, I do really like the idea that Mila just basically tries to solve everything by brute force and throwing the four at it, and then <laughs> this happened and she's like, well, shit, what do I do now? One wonders how she became the Lord of the Four. Yeah, who are those people? I feel like Ivar has, um, or Ivar has dedicated his entire life to one around? thing, and now that that's being threatened, he doesn't know what to do with himself. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll be back at the village. Oh, interesting. I, I feared Alva would say something about the, like, people we saw looking on from afar. Because it definitely, it intentionally showed them, but then he I took to no action. What I can do. About what? You mean about the four? Oh, what's wrong? I thought you were going to rest. I would say the same to you. You didn't go back to the village? No. Well then, let's go set you up with the villagers. I'm being pensive and RPG-ish. What's wrong? Worried you won't fit in? Oh, there's your opening, because she feels the exact same. No, that's not it. So, what are you going to do now? Will you return to Fenmont to destroy the Lance of Kresnik? Yes. I, I don't think you quite have kept up with the plot here, Mila. Um, you kinda got destroyed when you went to Fenmont. Running right back in is not a good idea. When you consider that the Lance drained mana from the Four, along with the other people there, we can assume the mana serves as some kind of fuel. The Lance must gather mana before it can be used as a weapon. I doubt it will be ready immediately. I suspect their mana gathering activities will continue. If you fed it the Four and it doesn't have enough mana to fire, what the hell? How much does it need? Half the world? Are you planning to go alone? I mean, at the, at, it sounds almost like at the point where you get the Lance of Kresnik powerful enough, powerful enough to fire, you've already conquered the whole world. Stop beating around the bush. If you want to tell me something, just say it. I, I appreciate her forthrightness there. I want to know, how come you're so brave? Well, she is a literal god. Interest in me. 
Haven't you? I mean, it's like it's not hard for a god to be brave. They don't understand pain. They don't understand like defeat. <sighs> Especially in this world where it seems like Mila is the only god. It's not like she's competing with other gods, as far as we can tell. Bravery. That's not really it. I have a task to perform. Mm. And I do whatever it takes to complete the task. It's that simple. Well, that's that's easy for you to say. But you're only human now. Isn't this mission too big for just one person? I mean, you could die. That changes nothing. The task must be completed. Okay, let me try another way then. Um, if you die, the task will never be completed. Don't you need some sort of a contingency plan? Don't you need something more than I'll just go do it and I'm not going to consider any possible consequence? You really are brave. Any other questions? Then let's go back. Whoops. Hey. Yes? Can I come too? With you? I wonder if Ivar's going to turn into a like Your recurring whole life villain. Is turned upside down because you got involved with me. You don't regret it? Well, sure, a little bit. I also think Jude is very interesting um, in terms of a character with all this because his entire story arc is that he grew up in Finmont and well, okay, he didn't grow up in Finmont. He came from some unnamed village, but his adolescence was spent in Finmont learning magic at the university, and I'm sure he always thought that Finmont was reasonably an upright place. And then he just learned that they are, like, draining all of the most important things in the world. Like, back to back, he finds out that Finmont is absorbing the energy of his, of Professor Howe. Um, ooh, actually, was that Howe's Egg Theorem? I didn't actually put that together at first. Um, and then immediately afterward... Um, the Great Four, who have existed as legends to him. So, of course, I mean, he's, he's got to feel very portrayed by Finmont, and he's not really showing it, but I bet there's a, there's a desire in him to lash back. But it's too late to cry about it now. It's not like I can turn back time. Now that I'm neck deep in this, I want to help you, if I can. You really are a do-gooder, aren't you? <laughs> y you think so? I didn't stay behind in the shrine to rest. I was hoping to sneak off without dragging you into things again. Really? Yes. Consideration for others was something I learned on our little journey together. I also like that line. It really it makes sense within our character that she's never had to consider others before. It's not as easy as I thought. Anyway, let's head to the village. She is really up right about the hey, let's go to the village thing. Now that you found me, I suppose I'm in no rush to leave anymore. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she'll sneak off. Cat, 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 cat. There really is no place I feel more. Stop. Oh, interesting. I'm playing as okay. I won't fight back. <laughs> okay, I thought I saw glowies over here. Ten gold. Hey, that's a, that's something. It's interesting that they're are they actually going to have me... There must be something that will happen. And I bet it's going to involve um, Ivor. Okay, nothing else here. Let's go ahead and save again. Wasn't Alvin with you? No, I think he went back to the village. Ooh, or actually, no. I bet it's going to involve those um, sh like onlookers we saw, or at least Alvin saw, back in you know out in the Outerlands. The outer lens. Okay. Well, I'm using it. I might as well set our arts up. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm sure everyone wants to see. <laughs> Ow. Burn! 
She's very floaty. That reminds me of using um, a meal. I was like, it would be how a meal would play if a meal was in a 3D game. Excellent. I gotta tell you, I mean, just from that little brief experience, I kind of prefer Jude more. Although I'm, I'm sure it will take, you know, and I'm, I'm still gonna primarily use Alvin until we get to um, episode. 11, which is when I'll switch out formally, but obviously I can't use Alvin right now. But I, I will try and get a feel for all of them before I truly make a decision. I'm also trying to remember what her thing is, because obviously Alvin has, um, you know, his power up after using Art's thing. I'm not really sure what Mila has. And why are they having me run through here? Like, what, what is the, what is the purpose of this? This is just backtracking. Okay. She doesn't do much damage at all. Okay, that's her special thing. The likes of you will not stop me. Nope. Okay, that's interesting. So she has very, very powerful magical attacks that she can use, but they require some charge time. Um, so it's it's always a <coughs> gambit going back and forth. Do you go for speed and you know successive damage, or do you go for the stronger attack? It's interesting. Interesting idea. Got it. I love the, the, what those guys say. That did not work at all. I wish I knew what it says chain chance. Which ones do I, am I supposed to use there? Let us move onward. Always onward. That wasn't too bad. All right. Knock the save point. Knock it, knock it, bop it, bop it. And then back to the village to find out what has happened. I am a bit surprised nothing actually happened on the trip back. Um, I really, really, really thought something would. Took you long enough. I didn't expect to see Mila with you. So you're just hanging out here? So you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm going with Mila. Whoa, you're quite the flip-flopper. I thought you regretted getting involved. <laughs> True, but I've made my decision to help her and I'm sticking to it. I'll look at him smiling. Is that right? Alvin, thanks for all your help. Oh, I almost forgot. We still need to pay you. Ah, uh, yes. My fee. Well, I ran into some hayseed. He said he'd pay it. Wait, is hayseed a like, term for country bumpkin? I haven't heard that before. One of the villagers? Yep. He was all, thank you for looking after Lord Maxwell, and you saved our spirit. Hmm. That sounds like the Elder. He shouldn't have offered. Alvin, I'll pay you myself. You need to learn how to read your people, Mila. That old man was tickled pink to pay your debt. You'd crush him if you refused. That's actually a really good point, and I'm, I'm glad to see they brought that up. That's an, uh, that's an angle I wouldn't have thought of. You think so? I know so. Anyway, he told me to wait here for him. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. Well, I bet it's going to be something we're going to have to find out. He's still in the village, right? Most likely. We should find him. Don't forget to take care of anything you want while I'm still around. Once I get my reward, I'm out of here. I don't know that I believe that. 
Then maybe a thing of like actually go and do the quest that you got. I already have. So that was the elder. <laughs> was that <laughs> compared to the outside world? I guess Nia Kara really is quaint. Certainly is. I like its music though. So now we just have to find the elder. Wow, everyone's like bowing as I walk around. This is a little bit awkward. Awkward. Not you though, you're like, man. I don't think I need to rest. For generations and generations, ancestors worship at the temporal stones. Can't help but feel their advent of Lord Maxwell as a reward of their piety. Yeah, we kind of destroyed those. So there are different voice lines or different like dialogue bits. Lord Maxwell and your companions, forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Is she going to let him or not? So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. Oh, is he actually leaving? I, he could leave, but then he'd have to come back. He's obviously, he's definitely one of the characters that I saw from the beginning. And just like that, he's gone. I'm not sure I believe it. I'm, I'm expecting something to happen. Two party members? I was just talking to me in the beginning how it's weird to only have three at this point. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila. Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you. I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger. You are not winning any rewards. Mila actually kind of likes Jude as far as I can tell. Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Jude shall accompany me on this journey. <laughs> While you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila... You wouldn't have lost the great spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there, I might never have returned safely to Nia Kara. Thanks. I'm only trying to help. I almost feel so he's lived his whole life and he's just being spurned for some guy that just walked in at the last second. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. Oh, and we're going to get the... I'm pretty sure that that girl we saw that caused that thing to float around was from the opening. I'm a bit surprised she didn't join in. I kind of expected her to. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. All right. If we're lucky... We might even find a way to sneak into Fenmon. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila, please return to us safely! <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for him!
it is odd for her to talk to. I guess that's why she usually doesn't talk to people, because they act like this. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, you know what? I ate an apple the other day. So good. I really want you to have one too, Lord Maxwell. If only someone could get one for me. <laughs> but my mom won't let me go outside the village. There aren't any apples here. Okay, I guess I'll save again. I'm glad Sammy doesn't take very much time in this game, because I definitely do it a lot. I'm also really surprised that Alvin left. That does not make a lot of sense to me. I'm also surprised that... I mean, I guess I'm not surprised we're leaving so quickly. So, that woman is supposed to be Maxwell? So these are the people we saw, like, lurking from the forest. And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa. Who's yes. Pressa? If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. Interesting. Isn't that the guy from, um, is it Hamil? If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. I did not expect him to be one of the, um, uh, like, central villains of this game. Because I can only assume these guys are villains. I mean, just look at them. Um, and that cat girl is the one that we fought in the forest. I don't recognize the other two. The other thing about that is, um, I guess I should have expected that he would not be a good, because he is basically the one in charge of keeping our other party member, like, locked up. But still, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't strike me as necessarily a bad person. Just, I, I expect him to be, like, misaligned or something. Or he thought she was a demon or, you know, something where it's just we go in there and we educate him, if that makes sense. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal while we quietly put all the pieces in place. So these guys are not allied with Rashigal. Um... And they're probably not allied with Azul either. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. Interesting. I wonder if Agria is the girl from, that we fought in the beginning. I we never got a name for her. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... Okay, that's Jow. We at least have a name for two of them. If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. God, her outfit is bizarre. What is this game's, like, obsession with having women with, like, straps all around them? As you say. Cressa. Rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. So Pressa is going with Agria into Fenmont, where, um, and Agria is the. I'm going to assume it's the girl in red, but I don't know that. That's just that's the only other person. Well, no, because if it was girl in red, that she'd already have infiltrated Fenmont, so that doesn't make sense. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes, we still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. Hi, kitty. Hmm. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well, then we have to take a boat not straight to Fenmont. Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Okay, he's not really leaving. Alvin. Alvin? We could head toward Sherrillton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. <laughs> Wait. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Oh, you're talking about, um, Ivor. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. 
Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. I feel like that stack of money got bigger the second time he pulled it out than whenever the village chief got it. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? What'd you just give me? I feel like I need to know what that was. Oh, I got the world map. While traveling around, you can press R3 to open the world map. From there, you can instantly return to locations you've already been along your journey. Your discoveries may await in old places, but depending on where you're on the store, you may not be able to visit certain locations. And, oh, that's... Now I feel like the game is going to feel even more liberal in hiding skits and quests and stuff in random places. <laughs> I don't get it. How could the four great spirits get captured? Oh, I keep waiting after those buttons here. Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. Obviously, I mean, it happened. You can't doubt the evidence of your eyes. We have to go rescue the four, then. I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. <laughs> okay. Oh, this looks familiar. Although I feel like it was handled better in Zestiria. So I can't go straight to the Sea Haven, but I could go straight to Hamil if I wanted to. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the Lilium Orb. Alvin has nothing to do here, I don't believe. Unless he mysteriously got stuff off camera. No, he did not. Okay. She's got three to spend. And people were saying it may not be in my best interest to really push out all the way to three in all of them. Uh, but I... I just feel like she'll benefit from vitality. I mean, it's like, oh, uh, I don't I don't know what she really needs. Skill points are always good. It's like, all of these are good. At the very least, I want to get that for sure. Move, kitty. Move, kitty. I have to be able to see. Why do you not ever understand that? Because I, I also don't know what causes this to get pushed out. Because I feel like with this much, the, like, the other one got pushed out, but this one hasn't. See, his is pushed out. So I do like skill points. All right. So I guess I should. F oh wow! I did. I should absolutely get these because they're free. So I do feel like I, you kind of have to pick specializations. Is that what you guys are telling me? Oh, I'm just so I'm so not sure of anything. <laughs> Kitty, I can't see. So I do think I'm going to have Jude Um, I don't know who's a caster. It's like everyone does everything. But I do like having this, because this seems to give you better arts and better attacks. So, I do think I want just about everyone to go down this route. 
All right. And that will be it for now. Let's go ahead and save, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. Interesting episode. A lot, a lot, a lot... A lot happened. I'm really not sure about Ivar um, and what his role in the game will be. I feel certain he has a bigger role than we've seen. And obviously we met... I don't know about... I, I don't know if there's going to be a big boss, but we certainly met the organization that's going to be the primary antagonist, I feel like. But hey, Tales games have surprised me before, and they can do it again. They did it before, and they can do it again. And they will do it again.